The roads have continued to clear up a lot since 9 o'clock this morning, and it has become a beautiful day here in Rosedale, New York, as the remnants of Tropical Storm Ida continue to push north. After this past weekend in Chicago, at least 43 people have been shot, six of them fatally, including a three-year-old boy. With the increasing numbers of gun violence going on throughout the city, police officers have ramped up their security to ensure safety throughout the community. As leaders from around the world come together for meetings at the United Nations, concerns have been expressed publicly by citizens of New York City about the growing amounts of traffic. The Hofstra Pride women's soccer team has looked fantastic thus far as conference play starts this week. Throughout non-conference play, the women were able to finish with a record of 8-1. and one. For the second time in program history, the team earned a win over a ranked opponent helping move them up nine spots in the United States Coaches Poll at number 14, which is the program's highest ranking in team's history. We've got weapons everywhere. And that's what I like about this team. We've got, we've got the ability to score from many different angles and, and a lot of it is due to our athleticism and pace, but also just from our intelligence and, and technical ability on the ball. So we've, we've got a nice balance right now. The Pride have one of the best offensive units in the nation with Colonial Athletic Association preseason attacking player of the year, Mary Taylor leading the way as she ranks second in the nation with 22 points. As we did last season against Stony Brook, opens up the campaign with a goal. Taylor is supported offensively by Lucy Shepard, whose point totals are within the top 25 in total points just behind Taylor. Goes all the way to Shepard, who is on a hat trick, and she goes for goal! Oh, that's a beauty! What a way to get a hat trick! Lucy Shepard curls it into the top corner. Just a brilliant, brilliant play from Lucy Shepard. Head coach Simon Ridioff is impressed by Lucy Shepard's improvement and development as a player. Each year has gone by and she's just got better and better and better. She's applied herself tremendously. She works really hard in the, the gym. She's, she's maximized all her physical tools and she's playing now with a, a level of mental toughness and strength that, that we've never seen before. She's confident, she's competent, and she, she's playing at a really, really high level. And I think her future in the professional game is, is there to be seen after this fall. She's, she's a real dynamite player for us right now. Hofstra's defense has done justice with the success of the team so far this season. The Pride have recorded six shutouts so far along with two sweeps against ranked opponents including a clean sheet in three straight matches. Goalkeeper Skylar Kuzmich was CAA Defensive Player of the Week, along with being United States Coaches Division I Player of the Week. She currently leads the conference in goals against average and has recorded five shutouts, the second highest in the nation. This one comes through, right through the top of the 18. Big drive and a save made by Kuzmich. Hofstra is 11th in the country in total points with 79, 16th in goals notching 26, and 11th in shutout percentage sporting a .889. With CAA play right around the corner, the Hofstra Pride women's soccer team is off to one hot start, and their performance is one the rest the CAA should watch out for. For WRHU Sports, I'm Jair Brooks Davis.